Art is here. This is your gallery. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Arts Council of Ladysmith and District. Today, we're going to be creating this really fun project. As you can see here, it's what we call an accordion book. So it kind of works just like an accordion when it opens and closes. And it has a hard service on the outside. And then inside is where you can decorate and add all sorts of details. The great thing about this project is a lot of items you can find around your home. But here's a list of supplies needed for this project. What you're going to first need to determine is what size you're going to want to make your book. Now, just note that the inner, the inside pieces, let me turn this around here for you guys. The inside pieces, as you can see, are smaller than the cover pieces. So just note that the cover piece is going to be a bit bigger. The cardboard is going to be a bit bigger than your actual inside piece, right? So just be aware of that. The other thing you're going to want to think about is how long you're going to want your book to be. So what we're going to do is we're just going to find our piece of paper and then we're going to cut it or tear it to the size that we want our book to be. So what we're going to do is once you've cut up your, your piece of paper, we're going to need to start to divide it into its, into its blocks, right? So here we have our block. So each, there's a block here and here and here and here and here. So the simplest way to get an even uh, and, you know, an even fold amongst all your pieces is just to take your piece of paper, once you've cut it to the size that you'd like, we're going to fold it in half. La, 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 like that. So we've just folded our paper in half. And then we're gonna take our edges and we're gonna fold it back to our main crease. And I'm just gonna flip it over, fold it back to our main crease, make sure I crease it there. And then when I open it up, I've got four evenly spaced pieces across my paper. Best doing is if you wanted to make your book longer, again, you don't have to do this. I'm just gonna show you super quick. You have your piece of paper here. There we go. Maybe you have a second piece that you've cut as well too. You do the exact same with the fold. Then what you do in order to make your book even longer, just prop your pieces up like this so you can see the direction because that's really important. In order to get them to work together, all you're gonna do is take one of your sheets of paper, make sure that the M's, as you can see, are pointing towards you. Take one of the middle pieces here, and all you're gonna do is just fold it back a bit. Hopefully you can see this. Fold it back just a bit, as you can see. Can you guys see that there? I hope you can. Fold it back just a bit, make it a crease. And then you're gonna take some of your glue. You're gonna put a piece, a strip of glue here, and then you're just going to Put attach that hinge to the back side of your piece of paper and then glue it and then make sure that that glues there so that when you open it those pieces will be glued together and then they will fall in together if that's glued they will fall in to make a longer book so next what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to find those pictures we printed out on our printer in black and white we're going to need our scissors and we're going to need our glue stick as well too. So again, there's our glue stick. Just put that to the side. So here are some fun photos that I'm going to use. Me at Stonehenge and me at the Parthenon, which I actually went. I was there <laughs> a long time ago. Not recently, but a long time ago. Uh, and I'm also going to include actually a picture of my cat and my dog. So this is Sam and this is Kai. What we're gonna need to do with our scissors is we're going to need to cut around the images that we want. So again, for this book, we're gonna be focusing on sort of portraits. So I'm gonna be looking at cutting around the shape of myself and getting rid of the background. Same with Sam cutting out 
her and then getting rid of the background and same with Kai and then this one here as well too. Okay, so there's just an example as you can see here of what I meant is I've just taken my photo and I've just cut out that image there. And there she is, there's Sam. So you can get as creative as you want with the cutting portion of things, but there we go. So once we're done and you cut all your images, there we go. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna then start to figure out where we're gonna place these on our paper. Take your time. I'm just gonna do this real quick. There we go. So as you can see here, I've just placed them there. And then all we're going to do is once you know where they're going to go, you're going to take your glue stick and you're just going to glue everything down into its spot. Okay, so here at the Arts Council, we like to get all sorts of crafty. So what we're, our first thing is going to do is we're going to start to block out some of our hair and maybe some of our, some of the clothing. Maybe I want to give Kai, a, Kai or Sam here a, a ruffled something or a top hat or, or something. I don't know. We'll have to just play it by ear. Maybe they, maybe they want some hats or something. So the great thing about the paint is that you can go in and use it however you want. So you can put in some background color. You can, like I said, um, block out your hair with a color so you can create some cool funky hairstyles for yourself using pens and markers and crayons. So really this is an opportunity to just use paint as part of your collage process and then we're going to add other collage elements on top. So have some fun, go at it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get started on mine and we'll see you So once it's all dry and you're happy with what you have, we're going to move on to the next step. And I'm just going to quickly remind you what we're going to be doing. This is the opportunity for you to go in and have as much fun as you want. It's up to you. You can go in, you can grab your pencils, your scrap pieces of paper, your markers, your stamps, your crayons. Um, if you have, I'm just using some of this confetti stuff from parties. Uh, I've got some butterfly here, so I wanted to have some butterflies and some pens as well, too. So you can go in and start decorating. You can draw on it. You can add um, paper collage, whatnot. See what you have in your home. This is what I have. So then you just go for it. You draw on top. You can add some extra things. You can stick things on. The whole point is for you to have fun. So go at it. Enjoy. And... We'll speed up this process as I start to create my backgrounds. So this is the inside. Now we're going to be looking at creating the outside of your book. And so remember, we're going to be using for this bit, we're going to be using cardboard and some paper. So you can use um, construction paper, you can use magazine, which is what this is, or you can use craft paper as well too with a pattern on it. So it's up to you. You're going to need a cardboard box that you can cut up. So what we're going to do with the, with the cardboard, and I've already pre-cut it, but I just wanted to quickly tell, remind you about this again. The cardboard piece that you're going to use as the outside needs to be bigger than the piece that you're going to put on the inside. And you're going to do two pieces because we're going to have our front and our back. So grab your piece of paper. I'm going to use the, these sheets I have here, which are kind of cool and funky. So again, you're just going to find your sheet of paper. And then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to cut your paper down if you're using a big sheet like this. So again, you're going to want to place your cardboard because that's what we're going to be focusing on right now is getting our cardboard covered. And so you're going to want to, again, make sure that there's still some extra room outside of your cardboard because we're going to want to flip it over. 
So just note also too that this is gonna be glued on as well. So it's gonna also cover up a huge amount of the cardboard as well. We wanna cover as much cardboard as possible. So I'm just making, you can get your ruler out and do a, uh, a mental note of course too. I'm just gonna go in and just kind of eyeball it here. I want a good amount. It's better to have more than not enough, I think. So as I mentioned, you want a little bit over the edge there, right? So we're gonna look at it from this point of view. Pick whatever side, it doesn't really matter. And we're gonna glue, we're gonna do one side first and then we're pretty much gonna do the same for the other. And I'll I just cut out the corners here so just each corner like from there to the edge and then there to the edge so hopefully you can see we're just cutting out so it hits the edge there okay once you've done that then all you do is you glue your sides here and then you fold them over pulling them tight and then you do it on the other sheet of paper as well too. So go ahead and do that and we'll see you in a couple seconds. And we're back. <laughs> Hopefully you've had time to just follow those instructions to get your two outside pieces completed. So as you can see here, here are mine. Okay, so next step, here we go. We've got our two side end pieces and our awesomely funky middle piece here. I hope you guys had fun. Let's wrap this up for you guys. Last but not least, we're gonna grab our glue stick again. We're gonna flip these over. We're gonna make sure that the way we want it is the right way. And then I'm just gonna see here, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna take our two end pieces, these pieces here, and they're gonna be the ones glued onto the back. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, comment below, and give this video a like. You can also visit us on our website at ladysmitharts.ca.